Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Aura Luster with 1,232 rating versus Dan Sham Amanguru with 1,093 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. And then we're going to see Dan win the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and they're going to go first, 41 versus 50. Opening hands, we have Torn Scales, Graph, Ready Fusion, Boots, and Shades. So they have no going second cards here. But this is the Phantom Knight strategy, obviously, with like the, the little BA engine that you can use with like Cherub Beanie and Tour Guide. Uh, also, like Ready Fusion is something a lot more people are playing. Uh, this is like a level 3 extender, and I don't know if they're playing it or not. We could also go for like C Theseus and do like cool stuff like that. And then they have Abs, Talents, Gamma, Tiding, and Recharger. So they are going to be able to play here. We're going to normal summon, special summon, and then go for striker dragon, striker dragon, go grab boot sector launch. And then flop those two into Romulus. You're going to get those effects, abs and Romulus. So go search out ravine and then go search off of the abs. They're going to grab tracer and then activate ravine effect, discard tiding, go dump chamber and then activate tiding, banish summon out and then, you know, go search tiding. And then link those away, summon seal, and then place boot on the board, boot effect, special out tracer, tracer effect, pop boot for rocket synchron, and then get rid of those to summon quad boral, quad boral effect, get rid of gamma to summon out tracer and recharger there, and then turn those into savage, and then savage effect to equip, set tidying pass, so you know, they end on a uh, pretty standard end board with like Savage, Seal, Tiding. And then Pass, Draw Ash. Yeah, last turn that wouldn't even been like that good because it would have stopped like something small and then they would have got hit with Talons. Uh, but now like on this turn they can use it to like try to stop like Seal effect to summon. But they're going to go ahead and Graph to summon itself out. And then go to the battle phase, attack seal, and then seal effect, bounce graph, seal to try to summon from the deck, chain ash blossom, they're going to chain savage, so seal will be summoning out the brotar, and then brotar effect, there's been a lot more people playing this card recently, uh, just because, you know, seal can summon it, and then go grab levy for the follow-up, which is really good. Drawing it isn't something you really want to do. But, you know, seal summoning is pretty solid. Summon out Torn Scales, and then they're going to activate Tiding to Bounce. So they know everything they have in their hand here, and they can keep going for sure. They're going to activate Shade, and then they can Boot Special Summon out because they control that. And then activate Ready Fusion, pay a thousand, it's going to summon out a level 3. It's going to bring out the Wicked Knight. Um, is there a reason to play this? over a different one maybe they're playing like terra top and like tack and tomboard they want to win maybe they want it to be a warrior because they're playing a warrior package um the other one's a dark which can like come up with like rusty and stuff but who knows uh maybe maybe we'll find out this turn activate to go dump and then they're gonna dump the ragged gloves link those away go for rusty and then activate Rusty Effect. And then that's going to set the Fog Blade, dump Torn Scales. And then Ragged Gloves Effect, banish her from the graveyard to dump. And then Torn Scales Effect to bring itself out. Uh, like the wing is going to act as an extender in graveyard too. Yeah, go ahead and summon out the boots. And then Torn Scales Effect, discard Graph to go dump. They're going to dump Fog Blade. Uh, they can't graph effect or anything there, obviously, because I already used graph's first effect earlier. And then summon break sword. And then rusty to pop break sword. Break sword effect to summon back out from the grave. And then turn those into an anaconda. And then anaconda effect. Like that interaction is so good there because that makes it that way. Torn skills doesn't get banished. That puts break sword in the graveyard, which is an interruption through fog blade and rusty effect. So they're going to dump Red Eyes Fusion in the bricks, bring out Dragoon. Uh, yeah, Dragoon can uh, pop the Savage there. Boots to grab Fog Blade. Set it and pass. So 
I mean, they just played through, you know, pretty good end board. Seal, Savage, Tiding. It's not like the craziest end board, but the whole point of the end board is that, like, the Seal and Tiding are both follow-ups. And, like, you know, it's decent enough to usually keep you, like, alive into the next turn, which it did there. Um, I mean, normally, it, it can stop a lot of people. Like, it's not like a bad end board or anything. It's like three solid interruptions. But now they have to play through four interruptions here. They did draw Chaos Space. So activate, discard Brotar, and then activate Dragoon to negate. And then Todding, banish, summon Chamber, Chamber effect to search. We've seen so many people on three Tiding recently. Like, I feel like most people are on three Tiding now. Banish Lights and Darks for Levy. And then activate the levy effect. They're going to chain fog blade to negate. And then chaos space. Banish, put back striker, draws into Nocto. That's not bad. Like, that's just a free summon and a free draw. A draw off a draw. And then Nocto bring itself out. So striker dragon effect. That's going to destroy itself. And add back the rocket synchron. Then normal summon out rocket synchron effect target savage. And it's like this is just like it's a little bit awkward here because they have fog blade and a pop, but like the pop gets them to Brotar, and then Brotar is gonna get them to more stuff. You know, like they haven't gone through their black and white dragon yet either, so they could go grab that if they want to, and then that makes the pop into three monsters. So it's definitely a little weird situation for our Lusty here. Go for IP, Nocto effect to draw. Um, also, this falls into the graveyard because Levy was linked away. They draw a quick launch. Looking at what they've gone through, they should still have plenty of targets. Yeah, they should still have uh, a tracer for the quick launch and then something that they can summon off the tracer if they want to. Um, a rocket synchron. And then activate quick launch. It's going to special summon out Tracer from the deck. And then Synchro away into Hot Red. And then Hot Red effect on Rusty. So now, you know, that's not going to be a pop at any point, any point throughout this turn now. Go for Unicorn. Unicorn effect. Target the Fog Blade. They're just going to let this go into deck. If they wanted to, they could have chained it onto Unicorn. And then when if they link away... That'll go ahead and like, you know, be in graveyard, but they assume they don't need us since they already have multiple fog blades in graveyard here. So they have one for like this turn and one for next turn. So may as well just like have one in deck. Get rid of those, go for access code. I just don't see how this is like this isn't beating this. Like Yeah, you're you're gonna gain three thousand there. So now this is at fifty three. Um, yeah, like, it's just not beating it. And then effect, pop rusty, effect, pop anaconda, battle phase attack over dragoon, but it's like, look at how much they have here. Like, they could fog blade, summon out a phantom knight's horn scales, bring itself out during the end phase, still playing next turn. They haven't even started going through like their monster part of the engine really like cloaks still there they still have boots uh, yeah they just go ahead and scoop there so going on to the next game we are going to see dragon link decide to go first that was a good game one game two opening hands we have ready fusion torn scales ancient cloak fog blade and chalice so this time they only have one extender, unlike last time where they had a bunch, but they do have a chalice this time, which can help out. Uh, this can like trade with Savage or Negate Seal, and then they have Called By, Safer, Driver, Chaos Space, Quick Launch. This is pretty good, and they even have like Called By on top of the Chaos Space, Gear to Driver, Go Search the Black Dragon, and then Banish Driver, Summon Out Black, Slap That in the Striker, Effects, Grab Boot, Grab White. And then special out white by banishing black. 
And then Chaos Space, put back black, draw on the Tiding. Ooh. And then those effects, Romulus, white. And then activate Ravine, effect, discard Tiding, dump Chamber. And then activate Tiding, summon Chamber, effect, you know, go grab Tiding. The interaction is so good where, like, if you open Tiding, then, like, you can just search Ravine, like, every hand. And you can, like, discard to go dump, effect, summon out, and then it's, like, it just, like, a free extender pretty much because you get Tiding back. And you also get to the chamber, which makes your tiding follow up. Summon seal, activate quick launch, bring out tracer, and then tracer effect, pop ravine to summon out the recharger, and then go for Pepega ruler. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What is this gonna hit? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, all right. So it hits Lancia, Nocto, Gamma, Levy. Um, they haven't normal summoned yet, so they could still, like, safer get access to Levy, and they can just, like, grab Lancia, and Lancia makes us that way. This deck does a lot less if they want to. Yeah, grab that, normal summon safer, safer effect, remove itself to go grab Tracer, and then activate safer, banish, grab Levy. And then banish Starks to summon out Levy. Levy effect. And this is going to hit. Let's go with Fog Blade. It's going to do two Fog Blade. Oh, whoa, whoa. That dice was like 3D. You saw that, right? If you didn't like go back like two seconds, that dice was weird. That was whack. But it's going to hit Chalice, which is like the best card in the hand here. Activate Boot. Summon out Tracer. And then remove those for Quad Boral. Quad Boral effect, pop, summon out Tracer, summon out Recharger, and then turn those into Savage, Savage effect, equip the Romulus, and then Papega Ruler bring itself out by banishing Overlay. Okay, I, I was like, wow, they're really going to Overlay here. A lot of people have cut the rank gates, but they're going to go for IP, and then set pass. Oh, uh, this wasn't really necessary. I mean, it's not bad, but, like, just, like, leaving Levy on board isn't bad either. So you can, like, tidy and bounce it. But I guess they have, like, Seal to summon out Safer anyways to, like, reuse this next turn. And then Pass, draw Snake. And then Normal Summon out Torn Scales. Seal, Bounce. And then Seal Effect to Summon. So Seal's going to bring out Safer. And then activate Ready Fusion, pay a thousand, special summon out the Wicked Knight, and then Snake Effect. Okay, okay, so I like this where we get to like call a whole bunch of stuff. So this is going to hit the Cloak. It's going to roll a 1 and Cloak. You see how this dice is looking? It's so weird. Alright, 4, and then draws into Ash. Not really what they wanted there. Battle Phase, attack the IP. So just using IP as a threatening roar there. Then end of main, or end, end nine of main, end of battle phase, they're going to drop Lancia so that way like Cloak can't activate. Um, I'm guessing they didn't activate Lancia before when this was sent to Graveyard because they wanted to like use called by. Uh, on something, maybe they just didn't care about Cloak. I actually don't know why they would hold Lancia and then drop it at the end of battle. Because, like, Cloak could have just been used before battle. So... I guess that's a little bit weird. Maybe they, uh... I don't know, maybe they wanted to make sure that, like, IP got beat over, because if they kept a card in hand, then that made IP be able to go into, like, Unicorn after they Savage Negate, and then that keeps Safer on board. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm just missing something here. I, I admit defeat. Fair enough, fair enough. We go over that for, like, 30 seconds just for them to admit defeat. 
Going on to the next game, we're going to see Phantom Knights go first. Opening hands, we have Knight, Wing, Cloak, Ash, Droll. So, this, I mean, they have, a, they have a normal summon. They have an extender. This works. It's not like a, a Tour Guide Knight or Torn Scales Knight or like a Rota Knight, but it works. And then they have Quick Launch, Black Dragon, Chaos Space, Nocta, Lancia. Ooh, okay, okay. That's good. I'm happy they opened some going second card. Makes the game way more interesting. Normal summon, knight effect, bring itself out. And then slap those in the Cherubini. Uh, then Cherubini effect. So they're not like dropping Lancia yet. I guess they want them to uh, commit more. Just, uh... Then they're going to drop it now. Okay. Then go for Anaconda. Like... I feel like you'd hold it there, right? I guess, uh, like, if you go ahead and they go for Rusty and, like, you let them Rusty effect to dump and then they go ahead, you know, they dump something and let's say they set Fog Blade. I feel like that's what they usually set. So if they set Fog Blade and then you drop Lancia, then they have, like, Cherubini Rusty and they need an extender to get to Anaconda. But that's also like hoping that they don't go ahead and like cloak effect right away. But they would have probably already done that if they wanted to cloak search. So maybe that was just, I think that was the wrong time to drop this. Like they could have held it. But they're going to get seer effect here, bring back the Cherubini. And then Anaconda effect to go dump. Pay 2k, dump the red eyes fusion, dump the bricks. And then bring out Dragoon. A lot of people don't have, like, too much experience versus this deck. So, you know, I'm not, like, hating on them for dropping Lancia at the wrong time. But I personally think that was the wrong time. Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like what I said kind of makes sense. Like, you, you put them on, like, Havoc Extender. Pass, draw Saferd. And then activate Quick Launch. And then Chain Ash Blossom. But I guess, like, then you have to play through a Fog Blade. Plus more Engine. But they could also just do the same thing. Like, because they had, like, Seer Cherubini. So, like, you drop Lancia. If they want to, they can still just go ahead and go for Rusty. And, like, set up the same interruption as they'd have otherwise. Uh, quick Launch, Chain Ash Blossom. Normal Summon Safer Effect. Remove itself off the field. And then go search Tracer, draw Knockbird, and then banish, special summon out black. I love the interaction between like black and light hand traps, like Nib, Valor, Lancia, stuff like that. Knocked over and self out. And then battle phase, attack Cherubini. They're gonna use this to protect itself by destroying another card, or not destroying, but send another card. You control to the graveyard instead. Uh, they're going to send the Anaconda. You know, wanting to keep this on board because this is just like free engine piece. Like you just get to go ahead and dump stuff. You know, main phase two. Yeah, they just can't win. Like they can't search off this, draw off this. Like they're just going to go seal pass and they just have Dragoon to negate the bounce effect. Yeah, they submit defeat the there. Fair enough. Oh, they don't even see GG's. That was a good match, though. I like that. There's, like, a lot to talk about, too. And it was a quick match, too. Well, not quick. Uh, pretty decent. Pretty decent. 32 minutes long. Uh, pretty average on the channel. If you haven't already, please make sure to like the video and subscribe. I upload many times daily. A lot of content. Also, uh, I, I did a poll before this video went up. What, what deck do you think would win? Phantom Knights or Dragon? link i know that's like a uh it's like a general question on which deck you think is better but i i figured i'd ask that question before uh before like recording this i didn't actually see what the outcome was because i asked that question like right before recording this but i bet you a lot of people are going to say dragon link because that's that's what i would say too i would say dragon link would win but we're going to end up seeing the Phantom Knight player win here. Even after losing the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoe, by the way. Game 1, they ended up playing through the Savage, Seal, Tiding, FTK. So, that was cool. Um, 
not really too much more to say about this match. Uh, all, oh, if you want to, you can go ahead and check out my Twitch down below near the top of the description. I've uh, been working hard on that. Not, well, I mean, I have been, like, grinding Twitch a little bit, but, like, the actual, like, stuff behind it. Like, I just added a whole bunch of new, like, uh, BTTV modes, which, like, if you don't know what those are, I didn't know what they were until yesterday. They're just, like, a whole bunch of, like, regular emotes that, like, most streamers have may not sound like an accomplishment but it was a hustle to get those there um and then also i got like more channel emotes there i'm going to have uh oh i should probably upload some of those to youtube too for my channel memberships yeah i probably should do that i'm thinking about getting some custom emotes made i'm getting a custom logo made so uh maybe after the custom logo if that comes out good i'll get some like custom emotes maybe i'll get one like with me holding up a sign saying you buns i'm thinking about that a lot recently but with that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe